Okay, hello there again, storage chasers. We are at our second unit of the day, unit number uh, 177. This is the picture that we have from online. If the wind will stop blowing it, anyhow. That's it, and this is the live version of the same picture. And it looks identical, it's just a few uh, small items. We're going to get these loaded up in there and uh, see what we got. Talk to you later. Okay, storage chasers, we are at uh, the next unit, number 77, which is uh, this one as pictured. It's a manager special, and that is exactly what it is. It's just uh, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of furniture and some glass to go on the shelves. So this is... Uh, Got a few pieces I think we can sell and uh, make some money back and have to do a few minor repairs, but uh, it looks pretty good. I'm going to get this loaded and uh, we'll talk to you later. Okay, storage chasers. Ah, unit number 77, cleaned out, wall to wall to wall to wall. Ready to go get our deposits back. Everything's in the trailer. Good to go. Talk to you later. Hello again, storage chasers. Welcome to another video. This is uh, going to be a video covering uh, two different units that we picked up at the same facility. These ones, uh, this was actually items that we got from a uh, manager special unit. And uh, this was in uh, Monk's Corner in South Carolina. Uh, the first item here is a uh, little wrought iron little uh, wine rack it's got some little cup holder glass holder things here uh, in this box here has the pieces of glass there's a glass there's a glass shelf that goes in here and a another glass shelf that goes right on the top in here and uh, both of them are not broken currently and uh, they can go in there I actually have this uh, already listed on marketplace right now for a few dollars to see if we have any interest in it and if, uh, if I don't get any interest in it, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it up and probably spray paint it to make it new and shiny looking. And, uh, you know, maybe pose some, hang a few little wine glasses in here that, that we got from some other storage units and try and uh, make it look a little more presentable for selling. Uh, the next item we got from that same manager special unit is this dresser here. Heavy, heavy, stupid dresser. Man. Uh, needs a paint job, of course. Uh, big heavy drawers. Um, it's got a little uh, website in there so it can't be too old. Kimball Hospitality, it says in the drawer. Got some big drawers. The, the bottom drawer, uh, the actual glide needs to be replaced. When we pulled the drawer out, uh, as you can see in here, we've got all these little loose uh, BBs that came off of the the glider so it either needs to be replaced or I can just get rid of the whole dresser thing but if I can make uh, if I can fix that cheap and still sell the dresser for 30 40 bucks then it's worth it to keep it uh, the next item is this little uh, curio cabinet thing here um, doesn't have a piece of glass in it currently but the piece of glass is here, it's right here in this box, along with the uh, shelves for that curio cabinet are in this box, unbroken. I uh, don't know if you guys can see in here, but there's little clips here where it's supposed to have shelves, glass shelves, a divider. Um, the front doors of this open up, so you can of course put things in there. It's got a light in the top does not look like it's in bad shape um, if I had the use for it I mean I would uh, you know possibly try to keep it. it doesn't doesn't match any of my decor but you know nowadays you know it doesn't have to nobody comes to my house and looks at my junk anyway uh, the next item is one of these ugly armoire cheapy particle board TV stand thingies with some drawers. 
I'm probably gonna take the hardware off of some of the drawer gliders or something and scrap this one out because uh, it's gonna be take too long to to try and fix it up it's not worth my time and then the last thing from this particular unit was this bookshelf here it's also as you can see particle board this is the back of it here it was a little bit wobbly because they uh, put this little cardboard backing on them to make them you know a little bit structurally sound um, it's you know the newer furniture just put together the uh, top part is also particle board it's actually a, a pressed board type of particle board so it's finer than it's an MDF than compared to the particle board and so if this gets wet this will expand and uh, it's horrible this one here it'll get up and it'll splinter off and so it's no good either but what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and uh, tack this back plate back on it we're going to square it up tack it tack it on and uh, see if it'll be structurally sound enough to where I feel comfortable trying to make a buck off of it um, if I wouldn't uh, use it to put stuff on then I don't sell it it's just not worth it for for me I, I like having return customers and things like that so it's got to be you know at least structurally sound to where you know if somebody bought it um, you know, all they do have to do is either wipe it down or they could paint it whatever color they wanted to and and they'd be happy with it. So we'll uh, see how that uh, works out. So that's what I'm going to probably do next is I'm going to try and fix this and uh, put it off to the side. And then I have the other unit that I got from the same facility that I will be adding on uh, right after this. Talk to you later. Okay, storage chasers, this is the uh, second unit from the Monk's Corner. Uh, what we ended up with is we have these boxes of adult diapers that are currently, and this is full cases of them, uh, we have uh, two, four, we have five complete boxes here. Uh, I have one in the house because I was scanning it for to check what they were going for, and they, they sold on eBay is around $30 for one of these cases. We have five of those cases, plus we have loose ones here that will come up to about the same as a case. Uh, we also have some of these McKesson briefs, regular, also in a medium size. Um, they're just a little ripped open from being stored, I guess. And then a little package of them here. These probably have some value as well. Uh, then we have some loose ones, some bags of the diapers that are open. Don't know if we can sell them. Uh, I know we can't do it on eBay, but maybe if we repackage them, we might be able to sell them like at a flea market or something. Uh, then uh, we got this box, and it is full of uh, beech nut baby food. And the dates on these are October 2019. We've got some uh, April 2020, so these are all still within date code. So this unit has not been uh, closed up for very long, November 2019. So these are all good. We probably have, you know, 50, 60, maybe even more jars of baby food in here. Um, we will uh, assess whether we want to try and resell these or if we just want to trash it. Uh, we also got in this unit this uh, basket of miscellaneous dishes. You know, we'll go through them, see if there's anything that's not too badly chipped, like some of them are really chipped. Why they would put just a glass glass on top, I don't know. But we got that, and we have a couple other uh, trash bags with loose pads, loose things like that. Uh, these ones here that we, we covered the just lay on the mattresses. We actually keep these and we use these as our little dog pads in the house. So when we leave and we leave our little dog home, she has somewhere to go because she can't get out of the house. Uh, in this bag here, we've got actual kids diapers loose. Again, don't know if those will sell at the flea market, but we will try. We can try and recoup some money from this unit. Uh, here's some more loose adult ones. 
Here is some Christmas lights. That's kind of odd. Christmas lights. Yes, that's you got to find those in every unit. I guess this one too. Uh, found a, a naked Barbie, a little teddy bear. Um, here's some more kids' clothes in this unit, which is kind of odd. And a few books. And that was uh, the main items. Are of course we've got this uh, shower stool here. We're going to clean this up and uh, try and make a buck off of that. And then we've got this cool walker here. It is a, uh, a drive one, and it folds in half really nice. Brand spanking new wheels. Never even seen dirt on this thing. Um, I don't think anybody had the opportunity to check it out. Uh, trying to see if it's got any good information on there. It just says drive and it's got a UPC and stuff like that so we will uh, check and see you know what the uh, the value is on something like this and probably post it on marketplace got some nice hand brakes got some nice extensions so it goes up and down that's pretty cool pretty cool got to find out the uh, the weight allowance on this too a lot of people when I post things on uh, marketplace ask you know or yeah they ask you know what the weight limit is on them uh, the only thing that I saw that was with this was this part here kind of came unstitched from this. It's just a, a bag that hooks onto these bars and hangs across here. Uh, I don't know if we did that, damaging it uh, in the truck coming home or, or what, but we'll get that stitched up and fixed. It'll be uh, good as new. And uh, we'll check out the price and see what we got. But uh, this is it for these two units. And, uh, like I said, we uh, are going to try and make uh, our money back from them. We, like I said, we got uh, a couple pieces of furniture at the first one. And uh, all of this, diapers and adult stuff. And the second one. So, hopefully we can make some money. Please like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you want. Leave comments, do all that. So we can help to make our channel better. Alright, talk to you later.